Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. I'm here with the dream. In his dream, I am hanging out with a friend. We end up having a really good time. Like, um, we we go to whatever. Like, I don't even remember now that I had this drink like a week ago. But I think we were like going out to eat, going to the movies or something like that. Anywho, I decided to take them home so they can get dressed because we were going to go somewhere else. And they wanted to change clothes. When we get there, their mom is um there at their house. And she is being, I put, ridiculously rude and mean okay so she was being outrageously rude to me very mean to me um and it's like she had a group of friends and her friends were being rude and mean to me and i was like i don't know if i want to hang out with such and such no more like literally off of how their mom was treating me okay the scripture comes from John 19 and 6. As soon as the chief priests and their officials saw him, they shouted, crucify, crucify. But Pilate answered, you take him and crucify him. As for me, I find no basis for a charge against him. The Jewish leaders insisted we have a law and according to that law, he must die because he claimed to be the son of God. Oh, okay. So here's the message. For somebody, it's kind of like, um, I just feel like regardless to if this friend um was trying to tell you that their mom was nice, like I, I don't know if it's a situation where you your friend was like, Oh yeah, girl, my friend, my mom, she's gonna love you and this is gonna happen and that is gonna happen and you met their mom and their mama couldn't stand you. Or this is you and this is your mama and you will go and like you'll tell somebody, oh, I think my mom is going to, you know, my mom's going to be cool. My mom is nice. Or you try to say that your mom is, you speak very highly. And then when she is introduced to somebody, she is being very mean and nasty towards them. Baby, God said this, whoever this woman is, she doing this on purpose because she wants you to be crucified. She wants people to be against you. She don't want you to have no friends. And that is so sad, but that's really what it is. Like, that's what it is. And, you know, I, I just feel like it's not, you know, and that's really, that, I, I, I can't even like, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Because, you know, when somebody is nice, I have had, I have experienced both. I have experienced friends that had very sweet moms and their moms were just wonderful and delightful. And I have experienced friends with some moms that are meaner, mean, 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 meaner than a snake. And I, I like, I can't stop. I don't want to be, I like, I'm not, I'm not going to say that I'm going to stop being somebody friend just because of what they mama got going on. Because I wouldn't want anybody to do me like that. I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? I know that some some moms can be very mean. They can be very uh aggressive. They can be very controlling. And um, they can overstep their boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to narcissistic parents and narcissistic tendency. Narcissistic parents, they think that they should be in control of their child's entire life. They think that they should be able to control who they date, who they marry, if they marry, when they have kids, how many kids they have, what friends they have, where they go with their friends, and all this other kind of stuff that's really none of their business. But God is saying that for whoever this is for, this is to let you know what's going on. Regardless if you are in a position that I was in a dream where this is your friend and you looking like, whoa. Okay, God is letting you know, they mama, like, low-key don't like them. They mama, low-key, does not want them to have any friend. They mama, low-key, feels some kind of way about them. And you know, 
I'm not going to say, you know, it's not to say that everybody is perfect and that uh, your mama is never going to have anything bad to say about you and everybody is perfect and your mom is just going to love every single friend that you bring over. But baby, it is a problem when your mama got a problem with every single friend that you have. It is a thing when your, when your mama got to talk down on you to your friends or to people. Like, this is not normal. You know what I'm saying? And you, as like I, I've, I've spoken about this you know there are certain things that i dealt with in my childhood that i realized as an adult are not normal it is not normal for someone that cares about you to deliberately do things to push people away from you it's not normal it's not normal and i just feel like um for whoever this is for god is saying like this if you are the friend god is saying understand that this parent this parent is doing this on purpose because they want people to run away from their child they don't want that child to have any friends they don't want their child to have any relationships they want their child to be in the house bored with nothing else to do they want this child to have a miserable life and god is seeking judgment on them for that but god is saying you don't allow their parent to make you feel like you can't be their friend because their parent is crazy that's their parent problem their parent can't stop you from hanging especially if they're an adult you know what i'm saying i felt like we was adults we wasn't kids we weren't exactly doing kids stuff so i just feel like if this is somebody they grow they can be friends with whoever they want to they can hang out with whoever they want to. And, you know, like, especially we weren't doing bad things. It's not like we were seeking to do all kind of destruction and evil. We were doing normal stuff. God said, don't, um, don't put yourself in a position to where you are basically punishing this person even further than this parent is already punishing them. And, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, like, I just feel like it is what everybody ain't gonna like everybody. And that's okay. But as far as this situation, you know, um, it might be helpful to tell your friend what's going on and let your friend know, y'all, when you walked out the room, your mom was mean. Like, she's just hunting in her friends. And, like, just be real. Like, just be real. Like, the Baba is not supposed to be the only person with friends. The Baba is not supposed to be the only person with a life. And, you know, it would be a, a shame and a pity that the child got to wait until the mother is no longer present for her to actually be able to go out and have a life or him to actually be able to go out and have friends and do things like that that, that that's crazy and you know it's, it's just like but i hear i hear one way or another you know what i'm saying god say one way or another he is going to he's not like this is not a situation where this person is supposed to be punished they are not being punished for anything they are not in trouble with anything or for anything and you know just because this person they feel some kind of way that's their problem you know what i'm saying whatever their problem is that is their problem that is their problem that is their problem that is their problem and you know uh yeah that's just what it is. And, and that's the message. You know, and that's the message. And God says, you know, um, don't don't put yourself in a position to where you are one of these people. Like the people that were screaming crucify, crucify, and crucify to Jesus when in reality Jesus had done nothing wrong. So don't put yourself in a position to where you are now being an enemy to somebody and they didn't do anything to you. Your feelings are hurt or you may be upset because they mama is mean, but you need to take that up with they mama because they mama said that. Now, if they mama is sitting around saying nasty things to you and they talking nasty about you, guess what they mama said that you need to understand that if this person did not like you, they wouldn't want to hang out with you. And I, I just feel like this may be a situation where this mother will try to say little smart things and little mean things and make it seem as though her and this child are sitting around talking about you. I, I would be real. I, I would be real and honest. This child probably don't even talk to their mama like that. I'm going to be real and say that. I feel like this is a situation where they don't even talk to each other. They don't even really have an actual relationship because typically mothers that do this kind of thing, parents that do this kind of thing, they don't build a relationship with their children. They don't want their children to have a relationship with anybody, regardless to why. Regardless if it's a situation where they hate the dad and they can't stand the dad. Maybe they, they didn't have a good marriage or they didn't have a good relationship 
or he left them high, whatever, high and dry, whatever. Like, it could be a situation where they are pushing their hatred towards the father onto the child. It's possible. Maybe they feel like they look too much like the dad. Maybe they don't, like, whatever it is. But that's that's the, that's the, something this person got going on. And, you know, um, I'm just here to say that. Now, I do know that there are situations where somebody will sit around and talk mess. And there are situations where somebody, some women, they are best friends with their moms. And there are situations where some people, they can be buddy-buddy and all this kind of, like, God is sending me here to tell you, for whoever this is, for whoever this is, you sitting around and you are feeling like you don't understand why this person mama is so mean to you. You don't understand why this person parents are so mean to you. God is sending me here to tell you, they don't don't like them. They don't even got nothing to do with you. They don't like their child. It's their child that they don't like. It's their child that they want to be miserable. It's their child that they don't want to be happy. They want to ensure that anybody that plans on putting, bringing any happiness and cheerfulness into their child's life is, uh, feels as though their child is a problem. And you know, uh, and that's what it is. And that, like, that's literally what it is. You know what I'm saying? And God is saying, don't put yourself in a position to where you join on a bandwagon of people that are bashing this child when this child has done nothing wrong. Because you're going to put yourself in a position the way you're going against God. Because God is seeing all this. And, you know, I know when you are like five, it's easy for you to believe that such and such been doing this, that, and the third, and you, you know, you ain't never seen them do. But when you are an adult and you know how someone's character is, you have been around them and you are uh, well acquainted with them, you will come to realize when somebody is lying on them. Okay. And there are some people they, they, you know, because it's a parent and I feel like that's the big thing about it. This is a parent. This is a parent that is doing this. So it was seen to the perceived eye that everything they say is true and everything they say is factual. Baby, it's some parents that will take their kids smooth up out of here. Let's be real. It's some parents, I keep seeing videos of mothers that are sleeping with their daughter's man. And I keep seeing videos of uh, children and their parents. Like, it's going crazy. But we in the revelation times. We are in the revelation times. God said that we will, they will see a time when parents will go against their children. Deliberately. It's deliberately happening. That is deliberate now. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, God is saying... You do what you want to do, but understand that it's not a situation. You know, I feel like this is somebody you are hurting because you're feeling like, I don't understand why such and such would say something like that. I don't understand why such and such would do this, why such and such would do that. They ain't say nothing about you. They didn't do anything towards you. They care about you, but you have to understand that they, they, their parent does not want them to have a relationship. Their parent does not want them to be married. Their parent does not want them to have friends. And it, it it's not even always a situation where they want them to they self. For some, like, just like I said, this is a parent that hates their child and they want them to be miserable. So they are being, it's like they are basically doing what Janice was doing to Regina George to their own child. For what I like, because regardless if they just don't like the daddy, they hate the daddy, so they want to attack the child. They hate this, the, this, maybe a grandparent, the grandma was mean to them, so now they being mean to the child. And it, it's just, I just feel like whatever it is, it's very childish, it's very petty. But God say every single person that is attached to this here, they are receiving judgment from God. God is seeking his wrath up on not only the parent that is doing this, but anybody else. The friends that was sitting there at the table, they receiving the, God's wrath too. Anybody that comes through and they know good and well that this child is not talking about them. They know good and well the child loves them and that the child enjoys spending time with them. But they decide that they're going to be mean to that child just because they received the wrath of God as well. And that's the message. That's the message. Uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.